back to my channel i do hope you're doing well and as you can tell from the title we have one of my favorite bar halloween hauls of the year i actually just love the hauls from this shop all year round we don't do them often we only do them for the seasons easter halloween and christmas but you know when we do them we go in okay we go in guys two bags filled when i tell you my room smells like a lush body shop yes it does it does indeed and i have all of the papers so we can get to grips with all of the scents the cost everything like that because i've got a little bit carried away guys okay i ordered 15 items however who remembers when you used to order online and it would come in the box with just the little foamy things and no packaging no now you can request when you check out if you want bags for the items so hey ho you don't get the carrier bags these are my good old reusable ones that i use day in day out well not day in day out that's a bit dramatic shannon um haul in haul out let's just say and i have all of the bits and bobs here but yes they do give you the little plastic bags now so i'm not going to rivet rabbit i'm going to get myself set up try and be a bit professional and shall we get in to see what lush has to offer for this halloween and i tell you what it's so hard guys because the christmas stuff is out too but i didn't succumb to the christmas bits just yet I want to get in with the goodness <laughs> right so i have everything laid out in front of me i feel like a news reader with all of me cards and that so let's just start with the one that we've got here and i never wear appropriate outfit for lush hauls do i i'm either in something black or white or something brand new and we know the majority of this stuff is going to be glittery it's going to be rubbing off and i'm probably going to drop stuff down me so let's go shannon what are we thinking of the backdrop guys we're slowly getting more and more cushions in once this is all done i feel there's only going to be a couple more videos because i'm decorating at the weekend we're going to start having a little bit more festivity around okay guys right let's have a look first off the bat this is a new one they have actually released quite a few new ones this is the magic potion bath bomb it was six pound now i'm not gonna lie guys i have noticed the prices slowly creeping up because cost of living has gone up so has bath bombs but i kind of wish it hadn't now the magic potion it says conjure an enchanted bath time and the ingredients now this was one of the main reasons i think it could potentially be six pound it's got popping candy in it so it is citric acid popping candy bergamot oil so i'm feeling like a citrus vibe jasmine yalang alang oil We've got dragon fruit powder in this and nettle powder. I mean, okay, but it is gorgeous. Like, this reminds me. Who remembers the um, princess carriage one? Oh. It reminds me. You know when you used to go to an Indian restaurant and they give you the flannel soaked in, like, the lemon juice? Reminds me of that. I feel this is going to give gorgeous coloring look at all that iridescent vibe and then the back is pure pink so that is going to leave a lovely lovely color wave throughout the bath and look at that already you know what i said about look glitter i can't even brush it on me thing because it's new bedding i'm gonna have to use blankie i mean you're always handy for something in your blankie we need to what's that Oh, you know what guys i feel like i'm very sensitive to noise lately ever since i come back off holiday where it was nice and peaceful i come back here and like my noise senses are heightened <gasps> oh no guys look what's just happened mayday mayday but well i can't do anything now it's on the floor isn't it i hope it ain't cracked any of me bath bombs right let's just leave it there we're gonna leave it there we're gonna carry on with this bag everything is just very flustered everything's up in the air literally well it's down on the floor at the moment but um hey ho right now i only got one of these because these i feel have gone up as well this is 16 pound now guys i'm sure these used to be 14 quid and it pains me i don't think i'm getting my snow fairy this year you know i used to get the big kilo bottle have you seen the price that has gone up to it's in the 30 odd quid i think it's like 34 or 36 
Lush, what are you doing? You're going to really lose out on business because if you kept it affordable, more people would buy it. At these types of prices, people ain't buying it. But I saw this and I thought, you know what? I would like a new little one for the autumn period because me and mum, we have been working our way through the um, body wash and this is called Sticky Dates. So it's £16 and it says a decadent body wash for the whole family. Made with 25% softening date syrup, aromatic vanilla and sweet sandalwood. And now I can't lie, it is actually a really nice scent, like proper autumnal, very, very sweet. Like you can probably see that it's like thick, looks just like melted sugar and you know what i think this is going to go fabulous with my posh chocolate body wash so yeah i only picked up the one because i thought i'm not spending a fortune on these because as we all know christmas time normally is when mum tops everything up she'll say to me right do a list of your toiletries your dry shampoo i know that that's like blasphemy to some people yes i do love my dry shampoo still um candles bits and bobs i don't actually know what i want for christmas this year Mum keeps asking me, and <laughs> this is how you can tell I'm an adult, right? You know how you used to go through, like, the Argos catalogue or Toys R Us, like I did as a kid, and circle things? i done that this year with the Lakeland catalogue. I was like, oh, look at that set of wine glasses. Oh, look at that little gadget. Look at that pizza-based sauce. I need that in my life. I'm an adult now, ain't I? I mean, you wouldn't think it, but <laughs> circling in the Lakeland catalogue just says it all doesn't it guys it says it all now i'm very intrigued with this because i feel these are new products you know like on uh what was it on little britain when he's been new member this is a new product so i am trying to find what it says so this is oh here we are a pumpkin spice lush melt now if i remember correctly this was six pound fifty but it said you could use it as a wax melt or a bath melt i think i'm just going to drop it as a bath melt but when i tell you this is glittery this is glittery so it says capture the scent of the season with a warm autumnal pumpkin spice latte lush melt for your bath or oil burner so it's actually multi-purpose but yeah it is glittery as anything however it does smell bloody delightful so i think i maybe i should do half as an oil burner half as a bath melt because it is lovely and i think how good is that that you could have it as a bath melt and a wax melt i don't know how that would work but i mean i'm all here for it they had a few other variations of that i really hope <gasps> she's just dropped it on the bed and she's dropped it on her car guys we're going to pretend that we didn't see that, guys, okay? We're going to pretend. Oh, no. I hope maybe they do that in the winter with perhaps like a cinnamon, like a red Lush Melt. That would be very nice, I think. What have we got here? Oh, this is a returning favourite. Ghosty, guys. Ghosty. Run a bath and drop in to reveal your spectacle before delving into deep purple waters. Again, a citrus lift to your spirits. We've got citric acid we've got popping candy again we've got lemongrass oil we've got sicilian lemon oil oh we've got persian lime oil yes please ghosty how much are you my darling you are five pounds now i don't think you've gone up from last year i think you was a fiver last year but if you guys have seen this you know they tend to do this style pretty much most seasons in different shapes so uh at christmas time you will get butter bear and in the spring you had it in the cow so as you can see, we have Ghosty here, and then all of this, the colours, as I say, it's like a purple-pink bath. They come flowing out, and it leaves the most magical trail in your bath. And I'm sorry, Blanky, I mean, you're going to have to have a wash soon anyway, but you may look like dish rag at the moment. I mean, look at that. How can I even call that a blankie? That's literally just a scrunch ball. And please don't judge me for me, Blanky, okay? It's like my last part of childhood and sentimental value for my grandparents and i think that will be with me until the day that i die okay until the day i depart my earth that will be with me now this i ordered last year and they didn't put it in the blooming box if you remember the haul i was looking and i'm like where's my luigi no it weren't in there so this is called bubble lugosi didn't even get the name right i thought it was called luigi and this is a bath 
crumble. So it says crumble this illuminating bubble bar under the running water. And then as you settle in, it's surrounded by bubble steam and an eerie glow. Oh, he smells different. Glowing berry foam. Okay. I was going to say, he smells a lot more fruitier than the citric acid. What have you got in you, Lugosio? We have do, 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 luminescent zinc sulfide. Okay. Perfume bergamot oil, olibanum oil, glycerine, talc. So I don't actually quite know <laughs> what gives it its berry vibe. But yes, and Luigi, how much was you, Luisiosa? £7.50, but it is a bubble bar. So literally, you hold it under, run it under, and get as much as you want. I'd probably say you get maybe four to five goes out of him. I mean, I have been known to just hold a bubble bar under, and then basically just chuck it under as well. If I can't be bothered to break it up, I will literally just chuck it under because... I don't have bath bombs every day. So you guys probably see these hauls. And if you're a newbie here, you're thinking, God, do you have this in every single bath? No. My bath bombs like these are only for the seasons and occasions. So maybe like a Valentine's, Easter, Halloween and Christmas. And they will always just be weekends. In the week, I slather myself in my shower gel, my bubble bath, my bath salts. On a weekend, it's always a good old fashioned bath bomb. Do love a bath bomb. Oh, this is new. I didn't see this last year, but I've got a new soap. And it says, lather up between your hands and let the demons loose on your skin. It's called Demon in the Dark. And it was £5, which is pretty much on par for the rest of our soaps. However, this has got some different ingredients. We've got organic apple juice, organic castor oil, peppermint oil, spearmint oil, clove bud oil, citric acid, cocoa butter and virgin coconut oil. And gardenia, gardenia, gardenia extract. But, oh, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. That is a very multitude of scents, guys. But I got it because I just thought it was really cute, cool and cute. It had like the little ghost in it. Now, I don't know if the ghost is a figure or whether the ghost melts down with it. It's definitely like a spooky scent, you know? <laughs> you know when you get a candle sometimes and you're like, yeah, that's definitely a Halloween candle. You can't, you can't justify the scent of it. Like, it is literally a multitude of all them things. Thinking you've got cocoa butter and then spearmint and then clove bud oil and then citric acid and gardenia extract. It's just, it's a very multitude of things. So, yeah, five pound on that one, my lovelies. And then what have we got here? This is a returning favourite, and you guys will know, this was probably one of my favourites from last year, purely because the colour effect. However, let me know down in the comments below. I think he's got smaller. I think that he has got smaller indeed. This, my lovelies, is Screamo. Screamo, Screamo, Screamo. It says, run your bath and drop him in and indulge in the ultimate scary treat for your bath. He is your favourite cherry eagle. So he's a slightly different scent on this one. Again, we have yellow alang oil. We have citric acid. We have almond essential oil in this one, guys. And then we have synthetic biotin and tin oxide. I don't really know what that is. Not going to lie. He was £5. So again, he was probably one of the more not affordable because £5 is not affordable for a bath bomb. But this was like at the lower end price because as i say some of them the most expensive bath bomb i think i got in here was eight pound but some are like the big ones i've seen for like 9 50 10 pound and i'm like oh but see now i like this one and i think this i think would be a favorite with my partner i think he's um he's gonna get into the world of bath bombs but it leaves a lovely blue sheen but guys if you remember this from last year he's definitely got smaller ain't he I mean, he's all the way blue round, so you get the lovely blue iridescent colour, but he's got smaller. I swear he never used to be that small last year. I mean, Lush, what are you doing? And, like, don't be saying, no, it's the same size. I've, I'm 99% sure he's a bit smaller. I know the sizes are my things, okay? We are getting robbed on our bath bombs here. Guys, I'm going to come... <laughs> 
and pick this bag up and then we can get in for part two because we've got bath bombs we've got crumbles we've got lip products because can i do a lush haul without buying another edible lip product no is the answer to that <laughs> i'm back bag retrieved and this is actually like the more heavier ones so no wonder it toppled off the bed right i'm hoping nothing's broke though you know if it is i'm gonna be devastated oh no this is in one piece and this is a new one this is called cool. now this reminded me of like the wailing plants in harry potter it's most definitely not when you see it but the vibe of it this is what i thought so this is called the screaming banshee a new one once again and this was three pound fifty so this i think i might buy a few more of for mum in her little halloween box because we have started buying bits and bobs and she is partial to a bath bomb you know so uh the screaming banshee it says drop in the bath water for a soak and now that's a real scream it says a whaley sweet bath we have popping candy again again with the popping candy guys gardenia extract apple powder fine sea salt almond essential oil grapefruit oil and bergamot oil with citric acid but i just love the style of this see now this for having all the citric acid it actually reminds me a bit of like a butter bear it doesn't seem as harsh however it is still quite small ain't it but i just think it's a really cute one so the back you have all of it in purple violet which i feel will run into the water and then you have it on here that's actually very nice as i say that is giving me like a butter bear vibe not necessarily like a citric bam there's that little bit which what could that be could that be the ylang ylang oil or maybe like the almond oil in it like rounding it off I mean, I've never heard of fine sea salt in one. I can't lie. That's not really something I've heard before. Ah, this is a returning favourite. I need to put blankie back there. However, I think this has gone up again. So this was 550. I think last year it was a fiver. And this is one of the ones that is kind of on par with like Black Rose, if you remember from the Valentine's one. And this is the bat. This is bat art run the bath and drop in to reveal a spectacle before delving into the deep purple waters it says descend into aura cleansing water water waters talc cornstarch sage oil rosemary oil sicilian lemon oil and green mandarin oil so this is a very different scent but this one, like the Black Rose, will get you covered in glitter. So I'm going to be very careful when I get this out. I like this one. I like this. I'm trying to be very... <laughs> I'm not doing... <laughs> Let me try and... It's just a very, very light ridge. I don't want to flick it around too much, as I say, because this one, like the Rose, it sheds the glitter. But... It does give the bath the most magnificent, that's a big word for me, like a little glitter sheen. Like it is mm, gorgeous. The Black Rose is still up there in like probably I'll say my top five. Top five all time bath forms, the Black Rose is there. This is a classic. And again, this I feel could go in the Hello Eve box. But have the price of you gone up, I feel? 550 you've gone up about 50p this is the pumpkin pumpkin bath bomb now this i think lush have probably been doing for the past i want to say like three years this i don't feel has shrunk in size i feel this is the same one and it's an uplifting orange squash hop in and set your spirit free it's citric acid we have cinnamon leaf oil so i believe this is the only one with cinnamon so we're starting to incorporate like the christmas scents with the halloween scents we have lime oil we have sweet wild orange oil and Sicilian red mandarin oil and pumpkin powder. So we're going to see how that goes. But you know what I'm about to pull out, guys. And this is, as I say, a firm favourite and classic. Ah, oh, I love that. I wish they'd done this in a giant version. I really, really do. This turns the water the most, ah, oh, just festive. Like this, I will probably pair with a bit of the sticky dates um bath shower gel i think that would be lovely i just love it everything is pumpkin and ghost vibe 
as you can see. Okay, and we've got a bit of skull there as well. I mean, because you can't have Halloween without skulls. I love my skulls all year round. I cannot, I think what I'm going to do actually, before I, before I put my Halloween decorations up, I'm going to drag everything out the corner because I need to put my skulls from Jamaica in my skull cabinet. So I think I'll do that beforehand because, as I say, still got me little Jamaican bits and bobs to put out. And then the rest will go in the lockup in my memory box because, yeah, there's still quite a lot of stuff there. And um, the rum is pretty much gone. Rum is gone. Now, this brand, so this chain, Lord of Misrule, that's been around for a few years because I remember getting the shower gel last year and I've got the candle down there. I can't remember them doing bath bombs. So I've picked one up anyway. This is the Lord of Misrule Bath Bomb, which is six pound. It's a little bit more expensive, okay? It says, let the festivities begin. The original green spicy reveler. So it has citric acid. Ah, oh, right, okay. So we've got some different ones here, guys. We've got vanilla absolute, black pepper oil, and dark Sumatran patchouli oil. This smells dark and mysterious, but I have a feeling this is going to create a gorgeous bath. Look at that. Look at that. So you've got the crown imprint, which is obviously Lord of Misrule, but this colour in the pink with the green, that would be very good. And if you think, Shan, where can I see these in action? I'm going to start doing like little TikToks of them. If we use them in vlogs, you'll see them in vlogs. So yeah, I will still be showing you guys these as and when I use them. Or if there's any in particular that you want to see, let me know down below. And what I can do is I can pop them to one side and I'll save them for when I'm actually doing a proper vlog, you know? Hi, my name is Shannon and I am addicted to Lush Lip Scrubs, guys. Absolutely addicted. This was seven pounds. I feel this has gone up a quid. I feel these used to be six. And it's Wednesday's child is full of woe. But it doesn't, I haven't opened this yet. It doesn't tell me what it is. I don't know what to expect. Castor sugar, jojoba oil, shea butter, sweet wild orange oil, grape seed oil, and citric acid. It says fascinated by gloom, moody, dark, mysterious, and somber. Let's have a look. It's a gorgeous. Oh, that smells nice. You see this gorgeous blue? I mean, it's rude not to have a little taste, eh? It's just like sherbet. I wonder how many calories are in something like this. Because it does say, like, it probably doesn't mean, like, fully ingest, but I know you can, like, lick your lips off for the residue love that love that i mean did i need another one no did i see it and just think shan it's tradition yes yes i did indeed i'm sorry guys i am sorry this is a newbie as well jason's mummy four pound fifty this one okay so again i think definitely something that could go in a halloween box and this one just says hop a bath no run a bath hop in and wrap yourself in citrus Oh, wow. Okay, yes, that is very citrusy. We have citric acid, tangerine oil, grapefruit oil, cornstarch, and titanium. Flubber. I, I don't know how you say that. Flubber, lubber, lubber. But that's so cute. Look at it. A little mummy head. I like that. Oh. You know what? That's actually like a freshly peeled orange. You know at Christmas time when you peel your mini peelers, your easy peelers. I feel like I've just peeled an easy peeler in front of me. Oh, I love that. We've already started buying bits for Christmas like food wise. Twiglets and the new limited edition for Christmas Lindor Irish Cream. Yes, you guys all sent me the screenshots and I managed to get my hands on them. So thank you very much. Right, this is a newbie. This is... The Lord of Misrule Bubble Bath, Bubble Bath, Bubble Bar, Bubble Bar, yes, £6.50. So, this smells different to the Lord of Misrule Bath Bomb, and it smells different to the candle. This smells a little bit sweeter, so it says the Mountains of Merry Bubbles. 
It still has black pepper oil, dark Sumatran patchouli oil, but it seems to have citric acid and dipropylene and limone, limone. So I'm taking it that that's lemon. But again, this is a bubble bar, so you literally will hold it down. But guys, the only thing I was a little bit disappointed with, I was supposed to have three like points on my crown. As you can see, I only got one. The other two must have come off in the box. But it is actually a really weighty bubble bar. Oh, have I got it on my nose now? It's just what I need, eh? It is actually really weighty and it does smell nice. I easily think you can maybe get four or five goes out of that. But I just wish I'd have got me full, me full crown, you know? Like, I feel I've been cheated. And then I feel I'm cheated again now because this is the last one. And what are we saving till last? Another new product. Pumpkin, what are we? Because you are a new one as well. A pumpkin crumble bubble bar. This was £8. So this was the most expensive. It's because it's a bubble bar. It just... They, they ramp up the prices. But it's actually the most expensive one out of all of them. It says crumble under running water and then slip into the perfect pumpkin spice bubble bar. We have in here cocoa butter, grapefruit oil, juniper berry oil. That's a new one on this one. Lime oil, pumpkin puree, and shea butter. Now, I won't be putting this in whole. I genuinely feel this will be the one that I will break. That smells gorgeous. But guys, let me do it so you can see the face. It just reminds me of like a big Viennese whirl. I want to eat it. It's like a Halloween Viennese whirl. What do we think? See all the filling in the middle? You just want to break it apart and stick it in your gob, didn't you? Well, I know I do. I just resonate everything with food, don't I? Hey-ho, that's Shannon Lee. But, um, yes. I don't think we've done too bad. As I say, it was very, very hard to not purchase the Christmas items. But I've done good. I'm not going to purchase the Christmas items just yet. I want to enjoy my Halloween vibes. So, as I say, plenty of vlogs upcoming, which you will see these in. They will be like your Hello Autumn vlog. You'll be having your pumpkin picking vlog. And if there's any ones, as I say, in particular that you want me to show, just leave them down below. But guys, 2023 lush Halloween, we are done with you. <laughs> so my lovelies, another haul. You're probably thinking, Shan, that's all we've had hauls. But you guys know that when it gets to like autumn, winter, it pretty much is hauls because your girl gets carried away with shopping. I really, really, really want to try next year to start doing Come Shop With Me. So I've spoke about this in previous videos. But for now, you're just going to get the goodies, okay? You're not going to see or hear me walking around the shops. You're just going to see the goodies. And my bed is filled with them right now. So as I say, I'm not rabbit on anymore because I've took up a lot of time of your time this week. Shopping, shopping, shopping and showing you more shopping. And guess what? Saturday's haul, shopping. Sunday, I actually can't remember what Sunday's video is. That's great, isn't it? I'll have to look in my calendar. But there will be a lot of hauls, a lot of vlogs, a lot of sit-downs and just big catch-ups and cosy vibes because that is what we need for the autumn period, ain't it, guys? But if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below and leave us a comment. Have you picked any of these up? What was your favourite bath bomb? And have you actually purchased any of the Christmas ones yet? I would love to know. But take care, stay safe as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.